Today we're going to talk about alternate operation of the flaps. Let's say for whatever reason the flap handle does not work. We have emergency flaps right on the right hand side on the co-pilot side. You'll notice that there's an emergency flap switch. You can either have it in emergency or normal. Normal is down with the guard down. And then we have this plunger. We're going to keep it in normal. The flap handle is working currently. And then you see this plunger. There's three positions for this plunger. The first one is the neutral position that it's in now. If I wanted to lower the flaps, I'll push this plunger down and then the flaps will start to come down as long as we're in the emergency situation, which means we have to push this up and move that switch to the emergency position. But right now, I'm just gonna show you where the positions are. So the plunger is down, the flaps will come down. When you wanna stop it, pull it up till it stops. That's the neutral position. And then if you wanna raise the flaps, push this forward and pull it all the way up. And then the flaps will come up. So let's see how it works. I'm gonna push it down to the neutral spot. You heard it click in, there's the neutral spot. Our flaps are indicating zero. We're on the autopilot and the auto throttles. The flap handle zero. So, we'll come over, and I know it's kind of dirty in here, bear with me. Emergency flap cover up. Switch this to emergency. And when we do that, the auto throttles will automatically disconnect. You'll also see a red X over the angle of attack. You'll get a message on the FMS, flap input invalid. And now we can move these flaps to whatever we want and we will get no movement of the flaps at all. When you turn this switch on, it takes the flap handle out of the equation. So we'll just put the flap handle back. And as we do that, let me just note something else. Notice the ref disappears. The ref completely disappears, regardless of where that handle is, when you put the emergency flaps to emergency. If we turn it off, now the ref comes back, we can arm our auto throttles, and the auto throttles will come back as well. So let's lower some flaps. Our speed's pretty good. We're at 200 knots. So we're gonna come over here to the emergency flap switch, flip it up, turn it on, or turn it, move it to emergency. All right. We know we're gonna get the X. We know the auto throttles will turn off, and the ref is gonna show just dashes. So now we're gonna lower the flaps. Now remember, we could care less where the handle is now because the handle is out of the equation. Let's lower flaps. We're gonna push the plunger down. And we're going to observe the flaps move. Now as the flaps move, when it gets to the position we want, which is 10, and I'm watching it over here, I'm gonna pull the plunger up. There's 10. I'm gonna pull it up until it goes into its notch. What do we have? We have flaps 10. Could care less what the handle says. And we still have what? We've got ref not showing. We have an X over angle of attack. And the auto throttles are off, so that airspeed is decreasing a little bit. Let's add just a little bit of power here. Keep that speed up. And now we want to go to flaps 20. Same thing. Push it all the way down. Let's follow the flap until it gets to 20 right there. Pull it up. Right to the stop. Let's go to 39. Push it all the way down. It's going to 39. And when the flaps get greater than 20, your stall barrier number one will fail. That's normal. That's so now we want to raise the flaps. How do we raise the flaps? We start in the neutral position. We have flaps showing 39. To raise the flaps, I'm going to push the plunger forward and pull up. And 
when we do that, the flaps will start to come up. I can stop them at any place I want just by pushing the plunger down. But I want the flaps all the way up, so I'm pulling the plunger all the way up. I'm going to push forward on the plunger, plunger and pull up. Flaps are going to go all the way to zero. And when the flaps get to zero, I'm going to push the plunger back to the neutral position. And that's how you use the emergency flaps. Hey, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and tell your friends. And until next time, have fun and fly safe.